Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is Modern Warfare mid-season changes. So this mid-season change update came out yesterday which was a Tuesday and this week's update file was a big one with its size coming in at 21 gigabytes big. So in multiplayer we got a new playlist well we got two new playlists but the first one is team defender so for anyone who doesn't know what this is it's basically just capture the flag where you gotta protect the flag carrier and this kind of seems fairly boring to be honest like if you have someone on your team who has the flag and they just go into the back of their map and then all you have to do is just camp there for the whole game and me personally I probably won't be playing this really and truly most of the game or the playlists that have come out for this game i have not actually played and it's kind of sad but it's kind of true because some of them are just not great up next then we have underneath this playlist we have is the cheshire park 24 7 now this is a new map with some original well not original game modes but just normal game modes team deathmatch domination hardpoint and a few others and it seems to be a three lane map which is good and it seems small enough to have a good pace or rhythm to it now moving over to weapons we actually have a new sniper rifle called the right tech amr now the bio it says for this is this semi-automatic anti-material rifle is chambered in 0.50 bmg for dominant long range assaults a 25 by 29 millimeter high explosive payload variant is officially listed as quote unquote experimental but has been deployed on multiple classified missions with great effectiveness so there's actually an unlike unlock criteria for this weapon which is get three quick scope kills using a sniper or marksman rifles in 15 different matches now the easiest way people are saying to do this is by using either the car 98 or the mk2 carbine now this gun is just like the barrel 50 cal and i think in the multiplayer side of it the sniper rifle is one shot one kill however in warzone we could see this be one shot headshot and probably two shots to the body because that would just make sense there's no point of converting over the multiplayer part of it to warzone because then there's no point of having armor in the game now there were a good few bugs and fixes in modern warfare but i'm not really going to talk about them because some of them are just you don't really need to know now the changes to weapons in this update was a huge meta change for both Modern Warfare's multiplayer and kind of their competitive side as well and also the Warzone as well. Now the first thing is the HDR. It is guaranteed one hit to lower torso at any range. Now this I think will only be in the multiplayer side and not in the Warzone side and i can still see it being a one shot to the head and two to the body which would make sense in my mind anyway and it should in warzone as well moving on to the ax 50 then it just has increased damage range which is decent you know it's kind of bringing it up to a viable weapon to use up next then we have is the car 98 which actually got three little things done to it uh, increase ADS speed, small decrease to hip spread, and increase damage range. Now this makes the Car 98 better in both Warzone and the multiplayer side of Modern Warfare. And many people are now saying this could actually be the new sniper to use or the new sniper meta to use in Warzone. Next we have is the MK2 Carbine. Now this has a faster movement speed and increased damage range. The Dragonoff increased ADS speed with 2 hit kill minimum. Gun recoil returns to the center more. Faster rate of fire. Now these are kind of some really big buffs to the weapon. But 
I still don't really see people using it and the kind of the two hit minimum I'm presuming it that means to the body I hope because if it's to the head that just kind of seems a bit dumb because it is a sniper so it should be one shot to the head but you never really know with Infinity War because they could just make it make it say oh yeah it's going to be one shot to the head and two to the body and then it'll be two to the head and three to the body and it's just like really really how you mess up that bad moving on then we have the AK-47 now this has increased ADS speed and the CR-56 AMAX actually has decreased damage range now the FAL added a close range damage shelf with one hit headshot potential now this makes the FAL have a better potential to give you a one shot headshot in close quarters so if you're against a mp7 up close you could potentially win that battle which in my mind just sounds absolutely crazy for me now the big nerf that has happened is both to the grau and the mp5 now the mp5 actually got decreased damage range decreased 10 millimeter damage range Reduced long range damage to the 10 millimeter ammo and slight recoil increase to 10 millimeter ammo as well. Now, this is all but a terrible gun now, really and truly. And I think, in my personal opinion, we could see the likes of the Uzi or even the MP7 take the MP5 spot as the next best SMG. And I don't know, like. I've been using the MP5 for a long time and then I kind of switch over to the MP7 and I found that I think the MP7 is actually a lot better and I've only been using kind of the uncommon or common MP7s, the ones that I pick up off the ground and I've been just tearing people to shreds with it. If you have a good aim, the MP7 is probably one of the best ones you could use compared to the MP5, I think in my personal opinion. Another huge nerf was to the Grau 5.56 where it got a damage range reduction, slight increase to high frequency recoil, reduced recoil compensation and decreased range on the Tempus 26.4 inch, Archangel and the FSS 20.8 Nexus barrels. This has totally changed the meta in Warzone with both the Grau and the MP5 basically being considered the only weapons to use in Warzone and are now probably not going to be used either as much or probably won't be used at all. Now what we could easily see over the time we could definitely be seeing more M4A1s or maybe even M13s in replace of the grout in the assault rifle section and then in the smg section we could easily see the uzis or the mp7s which aren't too bad as well you know but it's still not going to be as good as the mp5 but we could easily see one of these weapons take over the mp5 in the meta which would be kind of pretty good in a way as well or if you have people that don't really know the meta and are gone and still using the grout and the mp5 maybe you might have an advantage over those players using the m4a1 and the mp7 because i found i've been beaming people with the mp7 compared to people with i'm against that have the mp5 and that's just in my personal opinion you know it could easily be something else it could be crazy something else i don't really know to be honest now another thing that has changed that will change the M4A1 is the no stock attachment which is increased weapon recoil and decreased ADS aim and steadiness. Now this is going to be interesting to see how this will change the whole meta in Warzone and Modern Warfare's multiplayer side as well. Now moving over to Warzone they actually changed the tab for the Battle Royale so we have solo duos trios and now we have 200 quads so this is basically just instead of having 150 players we have 200 players and most people are actually saying that this is fairly more fast paced and i actually can't wait to play this and speaking of playing it i will be live streaming some warzone tomorrow 
around 6 to 7 p.m. my time. And if you want to come down, you can join me by hitting the link down in the description below to my Twitch channel where you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live there. And of course, I live stream numerous games. I'm going to try more get into Minecraft hopefully soon as well. I'm going to try and do a series on that. Hopefully I can. Hopefully I can live stream as well. Even if it's just an hour or so of a live stream, hopefully I can do that. And moving on then, another thing added to Warzone was a new contract named Supply Run. Now on the map of Verdance, it looks like a stopwatch and you can actually have two minutes uh, to get to a buy station it picks. So whatever the contract picks, you must go there. And you can also only use once. You can either buy a teammate or every player on your team can buy back a teammate. And can buy something at a discount. Now, everything from the redeployment squad mate all the way down to the armor box, which is the second last thing, is at a discount. However, loadout drop markers are not at a discount and they are still at the 10,000 price mark that you will have to pay. Now, you can buy back teammates for free if you do this. However, you can only do this once. You can only buy back one teammate. And of course, you can do numerous of these contracts, which is good. And it's kind of a nice kind of thing to put into the game because it kind of goes like, oh, look, it's a new thing. Oh, maybe this will last for a while. We're not really sure. Now, another thing added to Warzone was a spotter scope. This is a tactical equipment and it is a scope which has no glint and you can actually toggle thermal or normal uh, the kind of way it looks, basically, if that makes sense. And, you know, this is... This is fairly good, to be honest. This was going to be in the game a while ago, but they never really added it. And everyone thought it was going to be binoculars. It technically is, but it technically isn't as well. It's a military kind of binoculars, and they're actually better. Now, in the patch notes, there are some things that are... Uh, they're, they're okay. Now, the one thing I like is that Team Wiped message now appears in the kill feed for your whole squad to see now this is good and all because it will tell you if one of your teammates wipes a team and then you'll know and you don't have to have your uh, friend saying oh team wipe team wipe and then you actually turns out that he wiped out another team or something like that that kind of thing that's happened to me anyway i don't know about anybody else the second pat thing that was mentioned in the patch notes is now allows you to have three precision airstrikes to be called in at once but within a distance restriction so is it because it used to say uh, airspace too crowded now this is kind of a good thing because if it was because of that then we could see it coming in at three times so we could see three precision airstrikes at once however how far do you have to be away and how far can it go, if that makes sense? Uh, it doesn't really make sense, but if I'm 100 meters away from somebody and I call in my precision airstrike, but somebody is 100 meters behind me and calls in their precision airstrike uh, 50 meters in front of me, do they kind of say, oh, well, you can't put it there because the, the first one that I call in is actually there? I'm not really sure. The next thing is basically just an audio issue that we had with the supply droppers. Now, the audio for the supply droppers was too loud, preventing players from hearing most other sounds and communicating with their squad mates. This has been adjusted. Now, this is something that needed to be changed for a, a while now since it came in, since supply drops or supply choppers came into the game and it's finally been done. They also added the irish army to modern warfare but i don't know where it is now i just saw it somewhere and i think um i saw it on instagram and i think it was on tiktok i'm not sure and um yeah when you do a finishing move it would come up with the person saying queen and for queen and country and i just gotta say this is really just a typical american thing to do because 
they just think Ireland and England are like one country and it's just so stupid. And it really just shows how dumb Infinity Ward are. First you make a terrible game, then you barely even change the game and you make an, a decent war zone and then you just make some terrible bundles that are in the store just like this Irish army one. And I'm actually going to try and find this Irish army one. And if I can, I'll try and upload it to my YouTube channel and you can all see it then. And I'll I'll probably say something on it in a later video or something like that. But yeah, as it guys, this is the end of the video guys. I hope you did like it. If you did, please hit the like button. Right beside the like button should be the subscribe button. You can hit that. And then you can hit the notification bell beside that to stay up to date whenever I upload to my YouTube channel or whenever I go live on my YouTube channel, which is rare. Speaking of live streams, like I said, I'll be live streaming tomorrow and probably the next day after that, some Warzone and probably some Minecraft. Link down in the description below to my Twitch where you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live on that channel. I also have a Twitter that I manually update whenever I upload a video or whenever I go live on my Twitch channel. Link down in the description below as well there. You can hit the follow button and you don't have to hit the notification bell there if you don't want to. But yeah, there's it guys. Hope you like, favorite and subscribe and peace.